Hello everyone, it's Prajul Patek this side and you're watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, from today on we are going to work on a new game and that will be Piano Tiles. So uh, if you haven't played Piano Tiles yet, the concept of Piano Tiles is very easy. Here we have this game, okay. Uh, what is there? There's these incoming tiles and what we have to do is we have to just click on these tiles in order to gain scores, okay. So if we click on these tiles, uh, we get a score but the catch is if these tiles left unclicked and reach at the bottom of our game window the game gets over or if we click somewhere outside these tiles then also game gets over so this is what we will be building in this game so let's get started with the coding part of this tutorial now for coding this game we'll be using pygame now pygame is very easy to install you can just install it by pip install pygame also the source code is available in the video description you can just go there and copy paste okay if you are getting any error so let's get started uh, once you install pygame we have to import it in our file so import pygame you can import it like this the next thing that we do uh, when we build a game using pygame is we initialize pygame so you can initialize pygame like this okay uh, similarly we have to end our pygame too we have to close our pygame once our game is finished but we will do it in a few moments okay the next thing is we are just going to define the width and height of our game window so i will define it like this screen equals width comma height equals 288 comma 512 okay here i have wrong spelling width comma height okay now here i have created three variables the first one is the screen then width then height okay the width has value 288 the height has value 512 and the screen will be a tuple which will contain these two variables in in it uh, in simple this will this will contain these two values okay so my width of the game will be game window will be 288 pixels and the height will be 512 pixels the next thing that i want to uh, know is where the game is being run okay if the player is running this game on windows uh, i mean on pc or laptop i want to run this game a little differently while if, uh, if the player is running it on an android phone okay uh, since most of the viewers I have uh, create games using PyDroid 3, so this game will take special care of those uh, coders. Okay, so you can get the width and height of your game uh, entire screen. Okay, not the game window, entire phone screen or laptop screen like this. Info. This is a variable, and pygame dot display dot info. We have a method which we can use to get the info. Okay, of our game screen the next thing is we want to get the width and height so width will be equal now see this width is the width of the entire screen while this width is the width of our game window okay that will be created in a few minutes so info dot current w okay you can get the current width or height like this right will be equal to info dot current uh, h to get the height if you want you can just print width and height to see what is the value of width and height okay uh, the next thing is uh, see if the width is greater than height if the width of our screen is greater than height it means uh, we are usually running this game on a laptop screen while if the width is less than height it means we are running in on a phone okay android phone or whatever phone you use so we can check it like this if width is greater than equal to height then i want to create my game window a little differently okay if the width is greater than height then uh, we are going to create our game window like this uh, win this is the name of our game window we will be referring it by the name win and you can create a game window like this pygame.display.set mode okay uh, the next thing is it takes uh, the width and height so our width and height are stored in this screen variable you can manually pass a tuple containing width and height or here i can simply pass the screen variable since it's also a tuple okay the next thing is uh, let it be just like this okay else uh, the way we want to create our window is, is let's just copy paste it okay if the game is running on uh, android phone i want to run it in full screen mode so you can run your game in full screen mode like this pygame.scale and then this pipe symbol and pygame.full screen so you can just uh, run our game in full screen like this okay so if you are running our game on a uh, android screen the game will run in full screen mode okay uh, the next thing is we can just run it to see if it's working or not fine 
okay so here it's working but here you see uh, there was a title bar appearing on the game window uh, let me just run it again uh, here it says by game window i don't want this title bar so you can remove the title bar like this here you have to type comma pi game dot no frame okay like this and then we have to just copy it for our android screen also so let's just copy and paste it here okay so it's good now we have created the entire window now uh, the next thing that i want to do is uh, currently we saw when we run the game or this code a uh, window was appeared and then disappeared automatically what we want to is we want to keep the window running until and unless we close it manually okay so now uh, see here one more thing if you run this game uh, there will be no title bar and there will be no cross button to close the window okay so they keep this thing in mind you cannot close this game window by clicking the cross button because there is no such button in our game now so you have to manually code a uh, exit option in our game so what i want to do is first of all i will create a variable running in a slide it with true now we will create a infinite while loop uh, you can type it like this while running okay now this loop is a infinite while loop because the value of running is always true until and unless we manually make it false okay so we are good to go okay so the next thing that we want to do is if you just run this game now uh, if you just type pass here and run the game now you will face an issue that our game window will keep running and we will not be able to close the game window so we have to code something by which we can close our game window so let's code it see uh that whatever thing that i am doing on my laptop screen is known as an event for example i am clicking here this is a event i am typing something this is event i am moving my mouse this is also an event so all these things are known as events and game keep these game windows or you can say pi game keep track of these events whatever happening on the game window so uh, we want to know what events are happening on our game screen so you can get the event screen like this uh, event like this for event in pi game dot event dot get this is a method for event in pi game dot event dot get okay using this uh, there are several type of events the first event that i want to work on is the quit event okay i want to uh, make sure that if you, if someone clicks the cross button the game quits so if event dot type is equal to pi game dot quit now you see here uh, this event dot get list uh, is a list and it contains all the events that are currently happening on our game window since there's no window so it's currently does not store anything but when the game will run it will store all the events that are happening on the game window then we are iterating on it using the for loop now we are checking if the type of event is equal to the pi game dot quit this means if we are clicking the cross button what we will do is we will simply make our running variable equals false so let's just do this okay the next type of event that i want to uh, uh, implement in my game is if event dot type is equal to pi game dot key is key sorry pi game dot key down it means if some key is being pressed on our game window for example i want to make sure that if someone press the escape key or the q Key on our game window, the game quits. So we can code it like this: if event dot key equal to pi game dot k escape uh, or like this. Uh, if the line gets long, you can just uh, write it in left line by using this uh, slash. Okay. So we are just writing the later part of this code here. So event dot key. Is equal to pi game dot q q okay so k stands for key and q this is the q a uh, key that will be pressing to end our game also there will be two equal to signs okay so either we press the escape key or the q key the running variable will becomes false okay so once the running variable becomes false we will get out of this game loop so just like this since we initialize the game window in the end we have to also quit our game window so you can uh quit your game window like this pi game dot quit okay so pi game dot in it in slices the game window pi game dot quit uh quits the game window so let's just run this and let's see if it, everything works fine or not so yes so it's working fine the uh, window does not uh, disappears automatically so we can just press escape key to close this window now so it looks good uh, we are good to go move further and the next thing that i want to implement is 
I want to show colors on my game window. So uh, currently my game window was filled with black color. I want to fill it with white color. So in Pygame you can represent colors in RGB format. RGB stands for red, green and blue value. So the RGB value of uh, white is 255,255,255. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to fill my game window with this color. So you can fill the game window uh, by using this method win. This is the window name dot fill. And here you have to pass the color name. So color name I have is white color. Okay. If I just run this, you will see no change will appear now. Currently, no change will appear. It's because that uh, if you are doing something in Pygame, you have to update that thing in order to show it on our screen. So let's just try to update it. It's very easy. You have to just write a line pygame.display.update. And if you just run this game, you will see uh, this time our game window will get white. Yes, so it's working fine. Uh, our window is getting filled with white color. The final thing that I want to implement in this video is the FPS of my game. Uh, you know that uh, if you have played few games, games run or based on uh, frames per second. The number of frames uh, defines how smooth the game will run. So you can create a uh, defined frames per second or FPS for your game like this. First of all, you have to create a clock object. Pygame.time.clock, you can use this uh, line to create a clock object and then you have to create a variable fps and here you can define the number of frames per second so currently my game will run at 30 fps okay now just before uh, since see here we have just defined here and this doesn't mean that our game is running at 30 fps 30 fps yet so you have to write this line in order to make it work clock dot tick then here you have to pass your fps value so if you just run this game currently you will see no significant change but if we implement further things you will see changes will appear when we change this values okay the game will run faster if you increase this value so this is it for the game uh, for this particular tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be implementing our tiles okay the incoming tiles from above and it will go down in the next tutorial so this is it for this game video uh, if you love this video leave a like or dislike if you need to subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial